on the air for more than 70 years. This is television's oldest and most successful real estate program, The House Detective. The House Detective is brought to you by Axia Home Loans, White Lotus, Loca Tile Group, Nicole Williams State Farm Office, First Centennial Title, Campbell's Carpets, Accent Window Coverings, Norwalk Furniture Gallery, Master Service Plumbing, Scott Roofing, Nevada Custom Closets, Flowers by Patty, and featuring homes from Remax Professionals. And now, here's third generation house detective, Greg Newman. Good afternoon and welcome to the House Detective. If you missed last week's show, you missed our Brokers Roundtable. Not to worry, we've got it on the homepage of our website, thehousedetectivereno.com. There we talk about the big settlement that's going on with the Realtors Association. You have to check that out. But now we're going to get started by showing you Mountain Meadow Estates. It's what Carter Hill Homes has got going on just outside Genoa, right on the golf course. It's Mountain Meadow Estates getting things started on the House Detective. Tucked between Nevada's oldest settlement, the natural beauty of the Carson Valley, and the fairways of Genoa Lakes is Mountain Meadow Estates. This neighborhood of semi-custom homes will offer four different creative designs with separate elevations. At Mountain Meadow Estates, you're just steps away from the fairways and minutes from the charm of Genoa. Located just off Jacks Valley Road in Genoa, it's Mountain Meadow Estates, presented by Carter Hill Homes. Change happens in our community and with your family, and so do your insurance needs. I'm Nicole Williams, your local State Farm agent. My team and I are here five days a week to help with your changing insurance needs. We're committed to personal service, so when you call, stop by, or set up a virtual appointment, we can create a plan that's right for you. Call to make an appointment or stop by our convenient Midtown office to see if we can save you some money on your auto, home, or life insurance needs. This portion of The House Detective is brought to you by Remax Professionals. So when my first set of realtors sat down next to me, they're talking about, oh, we want the market to pick up, and then I hear stories about multiple offers going on, so you ask yourself, what's going on with the market? So we've got a couple of professionals from Remax Professionals joining me. I've got Sheree and Johanna. All right, what does it mean when we hear about multiple offers, but we also hear about, oh, we want things to pick up? Sure, great question, Greg. I believe that it's all in where you price your home and hiring a realtor. I mean, they usually sure. know the best price point. It's going to determine how long a home sits on the market. All right. So and it really means, important. Johanna, which part of the market you're interested in as to how much action there is, right? Yes, and so there's a lot of importance on working with a professional realtor who can help you with those buying and selling um, questions and aspects that everybody has. Absolutely, maximizing whether you're listing and or making the best deal you can because you're, yes. you're going in with some information. Yes. Some stuff as always. All right, guys, we're going to get into homes from Remax Professionals. Got number one, let's see it. Yes. We've got a rare opportunity for you. Home number one is over a full acre with a great location. You'll have plenty of space for your hobbies in Spanish Springs. With over 1,700 square feet of living space and three bedrooms with two baths, most of your time will be in the expanded great room in, with large windows that take in tons of natural light. Our outback is another special space. Here you'll find flower beds and expanded trellis and mature trees filling that acre of land. This is a unique situation for the asking price of $550,000 and there is no HOA. For more information about living in Spanish Springs, call Andy Woolley at Remax Professionals. Andy can tell you more about home number one. Enjoy city views, a walk to the park. Either way, home number two on the edge of Sparks gives you a different perspective on home ownership. This townhome features two full primary suites with a separate half bath just off the living room. The main level enjoys wonderful city views, room for a dining area, and a well-appointed kitchen that has granite, an island, and pantry. The upper level features two full suites and the balcony enjoys sunsets and the city lights. This almost 1,500 square foot townhome has the asking price of $408,000 and there's a two car garage. With more information about home ownership with a view, call Sarah Sharkey at Remax Professionals. Sarah can tell you more about home number two. Enjoy country living just minutes from downtown Reno. Home number three has a real country feel that backs up to open space in Lemon Valley. Here you have plenty of room for your family and your big toys. This three bedroom home has a bright and open floor plan. Inside you'll notice fresh paint and all new flooring. The fresh paint and updated floors extend to the kitchen. 
A real highlight to this home is the patio and backyard. With no rear neighbors, you'll enjoy views of the mountains and plenty of open space. The asking price of this just over 1,000 square foot home is $418,900 and there's full fencing on the property. For more information about living in Lemon Valley, call Audrey Aragon at Remax Professionals. Audrey can tell you more about home number three. The moment you pull up to home number four in Carson City, you may not notice the newer roof, garage door, or hot water heater. That's okay, the mature landscaping may be what caught your eye. With a great location not far from Empire Ranch Golf Course, on the east side of Eagle Valley, you will love the setting of this three bedroom, three bath home. Filled with versatile spaces, this almost 2,100 square foot home works with your family's needs and there's plenty of storage with large closets. To add to the list of updates, there is a new fence in the backyard. The asking price is $529,000. For more information about living in Carson City, you can contact Robert Barchi. You can reach Robert at Remax Professionals for more about home number four. We're headed back to the North Valleys for home number five. This time, we're stopping in Golden Valley for a home that's ready for a quick close. Perfectly positioned in a quiet cul-de-sac with the largest lot on the neighborhood in the neighborhood. This is a well-appointed four-bedroom, three-bath home that's filled with new floors and fresh paint. The neutral colors and updated fixtures allow for some fresh ideas for, for this over 2,300 square foot home. Set in the back of a cul-de-sac, the yard stretches to nearly half an acre, giving you plenty of space for big toys and even adding a pool. In all, the asking price is $625,000 and you're close to all the schools. For more information about, live, about this Golden Valley home, you can contact John Von Noldy. Call John at Remax Professionals to get more information about home number five. It still feels like new. Home number six is contemporary luxury in a semi-custom home in the heart of Ranchera in southwest Reno. This single level two bedroom, two and a half bath home has an elegant feel with hardwood floors, upgraded lighting, and a covered patio to extend your living space. The kitchen is filled with high-end appliances, highly upgraded cabinetry, and quartz counters. Each of the bedrooms in this over 1,900 square foot home have upgraded carpet and plantation shutters. You'll have a great location that has you close to shopping, dining, and the club. All this has the asking price of $1,050,000. To find out more about living in Ranchera in Southwest Reno, you can contact Nick Abe. You can call Nick at Remax Professionals for more about home number six. It's a beautiful home in Ranch Hare, and if you don't know, Ranch Hare is in the heart of Southwest Reno. Great stuff, guys, and good information. Thanks for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Now we're going to uh, remind you, each week we record the show here at Norwalk Furniture Gallery, and we're always moving around. You want to see what more of the gallery has to offer? Here they are on The House Detective. We're more than just a furniture store. We can help transform your home or your room. Hi, I'm Michelle, owner of Norwalk Furniture Gallery and Accent Window Coverings. We offer competitively priced flooring, area rugs, furniture, art, unique accessories, and window coverings. Best of all, we can help pull it all together with our free in-home interior design services. We are located on South Virginia in the Winters Crossing Shopping Center. Come visit Norwalk Furniture Gallery today and let us help you create the perfect space. Ryder Homes has been designing and building award-winning communities for over 60 years now. And we're just getting started. Now building in Sparks, Carson City, State Line, and coming soon to downtown Reno, Nevada. Learn more at riderhomes.com slash Nevada. portion of the house detective is brought to you by axia home loans planning ahead we have told you time and time again how important it is if you're thinking about moving not next week or next month maybe next year now is the time to be planning for that next mortgage we brought back in andy mcdonald from axia home loans to talk about what it means to plan ahead how much more purchasing power you can have if you plan ahead it can be huge, um, and especially in this market where you have multiple offers. I have, you know, just recently closed for a couple of young families, and when they first come came to talk to me 90 days in advance, it was, hey, you're pre-approved, 
this is how much your payment can go up to, which, you know, equated to an area where they were willing to buy, but they wanted more. Right. Um, and so what changed theirs, you know, their, their credit scores were nice, um, but I said, if you do this, 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 and this, your, your scores are gonna go up. And they both went up about 50 points. And the impact of that was, they had about 10% more purchasing power, and it kept their payment the same. That's the big deal. It wasn't that they were basically put themselves into a house poor situation. You you actually can't allow for that because that's all part mm -hmm. of the, the process right. is not putting somebody into that spot. But really affording more house because their interest rate came down because they could purchase more. Yeah, interest rate came down considerably as did the mortgage insurance. I mean it was it was huge. I mean one of the families was saving four hundred bucks a month. Wow. Uh -huh. So that right there says if you plan ahead, this is the kind of stuff. And what we're talking about is finding problems in your credit or things that are hurting your credit, right? And it's actually really, really easy. Your credit score changes pretty much every day. Yeah. Um, and a lot of us have, one out of every six Americans has an unpaid medical collection on their credit report that they know nothing about. So if, if you go into, con if you wanna look at houses tomorrow and go into contract on Monday, and I pull up your credit report, that's what we're going with. But if you give me 60 or 90 days, I can say, hey, you know, pay off this medical or pay your credit card down below this, this number. All right, now remember, if you're in the process and your mortgage lender is telling you to jump through hoops while you're in the midst of a purchase, this could be a problem. This is a red flag, right? That's scary, that's not an, an area that I wanna be in. I wanna get take care of everything up front. I wanna have your file underwritten before you actually go out there and shop so that way when you do make your offer it looks gold plated because I, I've been called hey can you fix this deal or can you jump in and save it and then I get in there I'm like god if you gave me a month I'd have been able to do it easily but now you know they're they're and, out of luck and they're up against other offers that really does shove them out mm -hmm. of that opportunity it, yeah it's it's a tough time to buy right now um, as far as being competitive so to make yourself the most competitive give yourself the most purchasing power and get your file pre-underwritten. All right, how do I get in touch with you, Andy? Easiest number, 775-771-7030. It's Andy McDonald, Axie Home Loans. We're out of time, good stuff, <laughs> thanks Andy. Good seeing you. Okay, now thanks. we're going to remind you that it's White Lotus we recommend when it comes to keeping your home clean. Here they are on The House Detective. They take care of the job at your house in a, in a very succinct amount of time. They have it down to a fine science. Um, of what it takes to get done in a certain amount of time so they don't waste your time or your money. One of the very, very few companies that use non-toxic biodegradable products. Because they are trustworthy, exquisite home cleaning is a white lotus. It's not just the attention to detail, but it's the unexpected. Tucked on the edge of the Carson Valley with the Sierras as a backdrop, you'll find a new community, Micah Cottages. Taking full advantage of the space, you'll find cottage homes with creative designs, open living spaces, and in-law suites with separate entry. Each home has upgraded finishes and wonderful views of the mountains. And you're close to shopping and golf in an established neighborhood. It's Micah Cottages, just south of Carson City off 395. Brought to you by Carter Hill Homes. First Centennial Title has called Nevada home and has been at the forefront of Northern Nevada property transactions for over 40 years. Our in-house team of title, escrow, and real estate professionals work together to provide our clients with the resources and services they need to purchase a home and close a real estate transaction. There's no question a lot goes into the home buying process, and First Centennial Title is here to streamline the closing. We are First Centennial! This portion of The House Detective is brought to you by Better Homes and Gardens, Draculich Realty. When my next guest was asked about being on the show, she goes, no, no, I'm going to wait until I have a couple of listings to show you. <laughs> well, Denise <laughs> joins us from Better Homes and Gardens, Dracula Realty, and you have. You've brought us a couple of listings. The first one we're going to see has got a great location for the outdoorsman, right? Yes, it is over in Verdi, and it has access to trails, hiking, biking, uh, off-roading, fishing. fishing. <laughs> it's absolutely a great place for outdoors people. Okay, and home yeah. number five we'll talk about in just a little bit, but let's get right into home number one. Let's see. Okay. Okay, we brought you out to the semi-custom community of Quest in Verdi before. That's where you'll find home number one, another creative design found in this neighborhood. The open layout is filled with natural light through the floor to ceiling windows 
and finished with a modern fireplace with tile surround. A custom point of that grand living space is the stylish kitchen and custom cabinets, custom tile accents, and quartz counters. Head upstairs to the bonus space that could be a home office, game room, or just some added living space. Enjoy the mountain views of the West Ridge in this four bedroom, three and a half bath, almost 3,600 square foot home. The asking price is $1,175,000. To find out more about this Verdi home, call me, Denise Hollerbach. You can reach me at Better Homes and Gardens Dracula Realty for more about home number one. We're going to stay on the west side of town and head to Sierra Canyon, where you'll find an incredible clubhouse and social activities. And it's where you'll find home number two. This two bedroom, two bath home has an open floor plan that has a rich feel with updated flooring and true picture windows. You'll find a well-appointed kitchen with granite, a pantry, and a breakfast bar. The private patio is protected from the elements and it's just steps away from miles of pathways found in the community. This over 1,800 square foot home is priced at $725,000 and the clubhouse and social functions will keep you busy. For more about living in Sierra Canyon, call Joey Raymond. You can reach Joey at Better Homes and Gardens Dracula Realty for more about home number two. Enjoy living in an impressive custom home in the gated community of Arrow Creek. Home number three has a great design your family can enjoy on a quiet night or with friends, lots of friends. The dramatic entry greets you into this impressive three bedroom, two and a half bath home. The valley spreads out through the windows of the great room. There's a dedicated formal dining area and the kitchen has all the high end finishes you would expect in this 3200 square foot home. Downstairs enjoys the space of daylight basement and the wraparound ba balcony is impressive. The price is $1,499,000. With more information about Arrow Creek, call Dr Brian Draculich. You can reach Brian at Better Homes and Gardens Draculich Realty for more about home number three. We're gonna make another stop in the elegant Southwest Reno neighborhood of Ranch Hera for home number four. The semi-custom home will wow you from the second you step inside to the backyard. Once inside this five bedroom, five and a half bath home, you'll notice the towering ceilings met with two story tall windows and floor to ceiling framed fireplace. The open living space is trimmed by wood and iron railings and the kitchen is finished with quartzite counters and an impressive double island. The primary suite feels like a private spa while the lap pull out back finishes this almost 4,700 square foot home in style. The asking price is $1,750,000 and you're close to the club. To find out more about living in Ranch Hera in Southwest Reno, you can contact Lee Stevens. You can reach Lee at Better Homes and Gardens Dracula Realty for more about home number four. We're going to bring you to a newer community. Home number five is the small gated community of Ridgeline at Caramella Ranch in South Reno. This single level, three bedroom, two and a half bath home was upgraded with plank tile floors through the great room. The kitchen has a stylish finish with quartz, upgraded cabinetry and custom tile backsplash. The primary suite enjoys up, uh, extra space with an office retreat and the backyard has stunning views of the Sierras. This almost 3,500 square foot home has an asking price of $1,300,000 and the clubhouse offers an outdoor pool and expansive fitness facility. To find out more about this Southwest Reno home, call me, Denise Hollerbach. You can reach me at Better Homes and Gardens Dracula Realty for more about home number five. And number five is Denise's listing and you got offers on that right away because it's well priced and it's a beautiful home, right? Yes, and there are a lot of attention to detail in that house. The that's, owners that's picked the, takes, the best right? upgrades, $160,000 worth and, wow. and we showcased it well. It flew yeah. off the shelf. Yeah. Good stuff. Thanks, Denise. All right, thanks. Okay, now we're going to bring you from one showroom to another. Let's show you Campbell's Carpets here on The House Detective. For more than 30 years and three generations, Campbell's Carpets has been freshening up homes in northern Nevada. Step into their showroom to find an extensive selection that's sure to fit your budget. They feature name brands like Shaw and Mohawk. Your home will never look so good. Looking for hardwood? Campbell's can help there too. They have a large selection of hardwood and they do all their own installation. It's family run and locally owned. Campbell's Carpets. Window coverings are so much more than blinds and shutters. They can add a real accent to any room in your home. Here at Accent Window Coverings, our team of professional designers will work with you to find exactly the look and feel your home needs, using brands like Hunter Douglas for a stylish look to any window. Stop by our Hunter Douglas Gallery located on South Virginia in the Winters Crossing Shopping Center inside of Norwalk Furniture Gallery. Accent Window Coverings, we'll get it covered.
If you're about to sell a home or you've been through the buying or selling process, you've probably heard of the form, the SRPD. What is that? Well, we've brought in the the official, the, the guy that knows these <laughs> things, actually. It's Kurt Frankie from the law offices of Kurt A. Frankie to talk about the SRPD, which stands for? Seller's Real Property Disclosure Form. Disclosure. That's what the whole thing is all about. We're talking about what is in a home, behind the walls, what's happened right. in the history of that home. Right. And it's on the seller to disclose this. Yes, we've talked about this partially before and the seller has this obligation to disclose to the buyer what the um, issues are with the house with regard to a lot of things heating systems cooling systems solar heating systems many items if the, they know there's a problem with this then they're required to disclose it or if there has been a problem with this and it no longer exists but there's still issues. If there's still issues, then disclose it. Okay. And it also has to do with work done to the home. It does. Whether it was permitted or not permitted, what that does to the home and moving forward, right? Yeah. And I actually was asked that question not long ago. Someone said, if I found unpermitted work in the house um, that somebody didn't get a permit for, for instance, um, is that a violation? And it is. So what happens? Does that mean they can never sell that home or does that mean they have to call the county out to have that work looked over? That means the person can buy it and take the risk okay. of uh, purchasing it with that unpermitted work there and that's just on them at that point. But they have to, it has to be disclosed and that's the one thing when you hear about purchases as is, mm -hmm. you can't avoid filling out the form. So it's not like a buyer can come in and say, you don't have to fill out that form. It's a state mandate. Okay. Even as is, it's a state mandate. It, it is still a part of what becomes the file that goes with that home for its life. That's right. And what a purchaser can do if they choose to is waive all their remedies under this statute, all their rights to go after the person in litigation. So there is a way the purchaser can avoid this form, but the seller has to disclose what the seller knows. That's why we call it the SRPD. <laughs> it's the disclosure about, it's really, it's it's the permanent record. We've heard that term for a long time. Yeah. About what it is that's going on with the history of that home. If you have any questions about this or any other legal matters, you can sit down with Kurt. How do they get in touch with you, Kurt? Well, you can call my office at 775-827-6100. Speak with Linda, Camille, or Dylan. They'd be happy to set up an appointment. Or go to my website. That's locaf, L-O-K-F dot com. Offices of Kurt A. Frankie bringing us great information about the SRPD. Good stuff. Thanks, Kurt. Thank you. Okay. Now, when we're talking about making sure everything's done legally, we recommend Master Service Plumbing because they know how to get the job done right. Here they are on The House Detective. Before the phone rings here at Master Service Plumbing, our team of professionals are getting ready for what comes next. We make sure that our journeyman plumbers have all of the equipment and training necessary to do whatever the next job brings. We make sure to be on time and get the job done quickly so we can keep our rates competitive. And we're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week for those plumbing emergencies. We're family owned, Master Service Plumbing, fixing Nevada's plumbing since 1991. Seasons in Northern Nevada can range from the harshest of summers to the most dramatic of winters. Hi, I'm Justin with Scott Roofing. Our family owned business has been servicing roofing needs in Northern Nevada for over 75 years. We work with companies like GAF and Malarkey to bring your home a fresh look that will stand up to all the seasons. We're Scott Roofing, roofing homes and commercial businesses for over 75 years. This portion of The House Detective is brought to you by Dixon Realty. We're going to finish up with five beautiful homes from Dixon Realty. And to help me tell you about them is JD from Dixon Realty. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Number five is your listing. You're going to give us a little more insight on that when we get through it, right? All right. Sounds good. Let's see number one. All right. It feels like new, but not where you might expect to find a newer home. Home number one, just south of Carson City, enjoys amazing views of Job's Peak from the backyard. This single level, open concept home has three bedrooms and two baths. It feels like a custom design that's made to take in the mountain views from the open living space. The kitchen has finishes like granite counters, stainless steel appliances, appliances and a butler's pantry. But it's a backyard with low maintenance landscaping and incredible views that will sell you. 
This almost 1,500 square foot home is priced at $565,000. Want to know more about this Carson Valley home? Contact the Harrison Group. You can call them at Dixon Realty for more about home number one. Let's head just a little north for our next stop in Carson City. With home number two, you'll be located between a school and a park. This flowing five bedroom, three bath home has a separate entry and two separate bedrooms. The main living space could be used for a formal dining area and it blends nicely into the family room that's warmed by a fireplace. The secondary guest space is all on one level and there's a separate shed that stays with the home. This almost 2,300 square foot home has the asking price of $589,000. If you're interested in this Carson City home, call Carrie Brewer. You can reach Carrie at Dixon Realty for more about home number two. Head just past the clubhouse at Dayton Valley Country Club and you'll find a quiet neighborhood and the location of home number three. This three bedroom, two bath home enjoys an easy to maintain exterior with stucco and rock trim. That ease of living extends inside with expanded large format tile floors through the great room. You'll be close to the course, but your appetite won't suffer with well-appointed kitchen that includes granite counters, stainless steel appliances, and ample storage. That easy living lifestyle extends to the backyard with the large patio and a water feature coming from the raised flower beds. This 2200 square foot home has the asking price of $579,000. For more about this Dayton home, call Loretta Fagan you can reach Loretta at Dixon Realty for more information about home number three. We've got yet another new community to show you. Home number four is in Regency at Caramel Ranch, a gated community in South Reno that has a clubhouse and a wonderful location. The single level, two bedroom, two and a half bath home was finished with some elegant touches like white oak floors and, a dub and double sliders that take you to the covered patio. The kitchen wasn't missed. There you'll find quartz counters, a high-end appliance package, and glass tile backsplash. Located in an active adult community with a long list of amenities, this almost 2,000 square foot home has the asking price of $889,000. If you're interested in a South Reno home, call Devin Scruggs. You can reach Devin at Dixon Realty for more about home number four. If a mid-century feel is more your speed, then we've got to stop in Old South Reno you must see. Home number five has a great location with a wonderful setting. Located just minutes from the river or midtown, this updated estate has four bedrooms with three full baths. The mid-century feel is intact, but updates include Anderson windows, soft closed drawers in the kitchen, and a floor to ceiling pop out atrium. Other updates include custom lighting, plank flooring, and new paint. The mature landscaping is a bonus that adds to the amazing setting for this over 4,500 square foot home. The asking price is $1.295 million and there is a finished basement. If you're interested in this old Southwest Reno home, call me, J.D. Draculich. You can reach me at Dixon Realty for more information about home number five. All right, All right it's great stuff. Thank Thanks, you. J.D. want to thank you for joining us. We'll be back here next week, normal time, 5.30, right here in Channel 2. So until then, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next week. Take care.